Whew. I may be a little late in saying this, but I love To Catch a Predator. It is arguably the best show on TV. Rest in peace. I'm hoping that they come out with the DVD version of it soon. Uncensored. I love everything Chris Hansen does. I don't exactly know what else he does regarding journalism, but I don't even think it matters. You've got To Catch a Predator on your resume, dude. I've been watching the show for a while now. I just needed to harp on a few things that kind of bother me. Let's just throw out for a second that these guys are talking to underage people. Yeah, we're just gonna disregard the pedophilia. I'm more concerned about what exactly they are sending to these girls and guys. Most of their chat logs are just these vile, what I'm gonna do to you when I see you, girl. I just think that some of the stuff that they send is fucking weird. I don't know too many 13 year old girls that are all about the ass play. Do you like anal sex? Says Chris Hansen. Like one of the guys one time typed to the girl. He sent a picture of his wiener to her and then typed, you wouldn't know what to do with it. I don't understand why that would be a turn on. Cause a girl would be like, you're right. I don't know what to do with it. That's not sexy. When I was 13, I knew that boys weren't the enemy, but I thought that doing anything with them would be inappropriate. When I first learned what a blowjob was, I was like, oh my god, who would ever do that? The thing that these guys do, they just act like such internet tough guys. I'm going to pleasure you with my cock. Any legit 13 year old girl that would be on the receiving end of that would be like, ooh. L-O-L-K. You know, because words alone are not going to be a huge turn on. You know, you could describe something all day long, but... I've seen their pictures. They're not attractive men. It just kind of ruins everything. Speaking of ruining, they send pictures of their dongs. This is what I got packing in here. Except not that douchey. And the weird thing is, a lot of these guys send the underball angle. Or it's like, click. Bro, no one wants to see your underball. Underball is only for relationships. Couples and relationships. You see the underball. It happens. Also, I know this is weird to say because they are underage teens, but the fact that they're even sending pictures of their dong, that kind of just eradicates any kind of mystery there would be. Like, I know if I was chatting with a guy, like, on a sexy website, he sent me a picture of his dick, say I wanted to meet him. I wouldn't, but say I wanted to meet him, and I go for the unzip, the unveiling. Unsheath. Oh. Seen it! Next. Mystery's gone! You gotta have some elements of mystery with you in any aspect of life. So sending cock shots is not good. Some of the other funny parts of this show are when the guys actually come into the house. You have this decoy in there. She's always like, hey, come on in! Pour me a drink! And the funny thing to me is that some of the guys come in and the girl's like, so what do you want to do? The guy just straight up is like, I don't know, what do you want to do? And then Chris Hansen comes in with his smarmy ass voice. It's just dripping with, you're fucked now, asshole. Why don't you have a seat? Right over there. You seem to know what you wanted to do in the chat log. This is why I want an uncensored DVD version of it. Because Chris will sometimes say the word blank, but occasionally he'll say the graphic terms in which he uses to describe oral sex. I guess what I'm saying here is I want to hear Chris Hansen use the term blowjob. Blowjob. He's so cool. Chris Hansen should get the Nobel Peace Prize for ending planned statutory rape. Is that a category? You can give him the Lifetime Badass Achievement Award. We all have Chris Hansen to thank. We should send Dateline a gift basket. I need that show back on the air. I need to just laugh at people's stupidity. That is what I'm on this earth for. Chris, I'm behind you on this one.